Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to give an update that back on December 19th, 2018, AT&T unveiled their 5G hotspot and their monthly plans. Now, they're super expensive, but the 5G towers we've, been, we've all been talking about, many of them were turned on. And in places like Nashville, Tennessee, they will be turned on at the first part of this year. The rollout of a new cellular data standard is rarely a cheap endeavor, but AT&T's early pricing for its brand new 5G services is raising everyone's eyebrows. Even so, the company declared itself the first to make mobile 5G service live. Thanks to the service in parts of 12 cities, a new service. The network actually activated on December 21st and established AT&T as the first and only company in the United States to offer a mobile 5G device over commercial standards based on mobile 5G networks. Now, here's the thing. $500 is the cost for this Netgear, Netgear Nighthawk 5G mobile spot. And at the current rates of data, you would have to you would have to pay basically for unlimited, which is ridiculous pricing. You, um, I mean, you could go through a gig in a second. They said a five gig, five G, five gigabyte speeds, five G networks. That would that would make you go through five gigabytes in just two or three seconds. So, I mean, this data is, and first of all. There's a lot of processing power and beaming a lot of high powered signal. And I think there's a lot of I think there's a lot of things hidden in these 5G towers that, that they're definitely not telling. But tethering via USB 3.1 generation 1 5 gigabits per second or gigabytes per second GBPS instead of MBPS. The linkage is available, but I mean the capacity in most devices is not even capable of that kind of speed and they said the 5G contains a Snapdragon 855 SOC and X50 modem and processor this is what it looks like this is the new uh, basically the new portable router 5G device that they um, they're going to uh, prefer everyone to have on the go but once you've once you've shucked out five hundred dollars for this hardware, they said you have a data plan. Seventy dollars a month for a fifteen gigabyte data plan. Seventy dollars a month. And that's just for one person. That's just the data plan alone. And they tack tack on all of these other stupid fees and all that mess. So think about this. The one advantage they claim they said is it's better than the 10 gigabyte, the $10 a gigabyte plan or whatever. But they said at 5G rates, it's better than what they had last year. The five, you know, per one gig you go over and it charges you $10. They don't do that anymore. But think about this: a few years ago, it was uh, that's what they used to do. But the, at 5G rates, and I don't, I don't like the thoughts of this 5G stuff. I don't like the thoughts of the 5G technology. I know everything changes, but they say that they're having to contain them in certain places in China and Asia, in areas of Asia in order to protect protect the general public from harmful signals. If they're that powerful, think about what they could do to us when well, probably what this technology we already have does to us. And my awakening symptoms have come back, by the way, like I mentioned in a previous video, and others have shared that theirs have as, as well. But I hope it doesn't get too bad because I cannot stand that when it gets that way. But anyway, moving back to this, you can uh, you can pretty much burn through all the 15 bits of data in about two minutes. Think about that. Just two minutes. 15 gigabytes of data used up in two minutes. Assuming your connection is as fast as AT&T claims it could be, fifty dollars a month for 10 gigabytes. I mean, it's crazy. 4 4G data technically makes a better deal. Either way, both data plans, they say you'll just go right through them. 
Service will only be offered to select customers and businesses for the first part of 2019 in parts of the following cities to start with. These are the cities that it's going to start with. So if you see your city, well, everything is messing up my phone right now, but if you see your city right here, if I can get this to comply, I'm having, you know, my phone won't rotate anymore, so I have to, um, even with screen rotation settings, I go into, I go into it and everything right up here. Right up here, I go into my screen rotation settings. It's not doing anything, but right up in here, where it says screen rotation, I go into the settings, everything's fine. It just won't rotate. I have to open up an app for it to go horizontal. I have to open up an app and then uh, have it displayed horizontally and then uh, Chrome or whatever. But the following cities you see here, Atlanta, Charlotte, Dallas, Houston, Indianapolis, Jacksonville, Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, New Orleans, Louisiana, Raleigh, North Carolina, San Antonio, Waco, Texas. Service should then expand into parts of these additional cities through the first half of 2019. Las Vegas, Nevada, Los Angeles, California, Nashville, Tennessee. I'm sure that means the prices are going to be ridiculous and they're going to... Taxes are going to be raised and all that crap, but Orlando, Florida, San, in San Diego, California, San Francisco, California, and San Jose, California. AT&T has yet to state what speeds its 5G users should expect, and for now the service is hotspot only with no support for mobile devices since no 5G handsets exist yet. Don't expect 5G service to be to ever be cheap. AT&T and other executives are already salivating over the new billing models that allow them to charge for premium 5G services tier service tiers for say low latency gaming access and all of that. I mean, it's ridiculous. They're ridiculous amount of this this powerful powerful signal. But it is coming to Nashville, Tennessee, within the first half of this year. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens between between now and June. Because I mean, it's um, I don't really look forward to that at all. Because of I mean, what I've heard about these towers and they've turned it on in select locations, and they said right now it's so powerful that. You can only capacity yet to uh, to even work with that kind of speed, and it's there's something else. There's something. Look at these towers that they have now. These towers with all of this technology on it. You don't need all of that technology to just broadcast data and cell phone signal. I mean. Sorry, but you just don't need all of that. Have you seen what all of these towers... Have you seen what all of these towers have? All of those cables going into some towers, all of these, some of those towers, all of these antennas, all some of them disguised as trees. I mean, it's crazy. But anyway, um, I know we have to have a micro cell tower in our house from AT&T that, um, because we don't get signal right here in this slope the towers around us and they're just useless towers they shut off our cell towers around us and they never did install any more or update so my mama's phone that she used to have it got shut off the signal got shut off from it because those towers quit so she had another it was 3g or above and they said eventually they would have to work through the internet so but this is the uh, mobile hotspot the uh, the 5g mobile hotspot that rolling out that they would prefer everyone to have in their vehicles in their homes my phone's out of memory again so it's uh, it keeps messing up on me so I don't know if I'll be able to upload be able to upload this video or not we'll see what happens so peace Peace, much love, and thank you for watching. I just thought I'd let you know that the uh, 5G is rolling out 
in 12 more cities this year and or 12 more cities December 21st of last year and then many more cities the first half of 2019 this year so peace much love give me your thoughts and I thought I'd share this if you have not yet heard of this I thought I would share it peace bye